Well, good day, YouTube. How are y'all doing? And welcome to a brand new edition, Triple Chips Down the Hatch 2. Where today we're going to be uh, doing these club size. I got these from No Frills. It's the President's Choice. It's a pub style recipe chicken strips. They're uh, breaded chicken cutlets, fully cooked. And you get 45 in there. So they work out to about 31 cents each. This box goes for $13.97 at your local No Frills. So we already got a few on a tray here. You're going to preheat your oven to 425, which I've done already, and you're going to put them in for 15 to 17 minutes. So basically, I'm just going to set it for, for half that time. So, so when that goes off, I'm going to flip them. Then I'll do them. Okay, so it's 15, so we're going to go 7 minutes aside because these are already thawed out a little bit. Actually, we'll do it 8 minutes to start. Uh, I don't know what else I can tell you. Okay, for every two strips, it's 190 calories, so so that's roughly 95 calories per strip. You know what we're going to be using after? Got a couple sauces I still got from KFC. We're going to be trying it with the honey mustard and the plum sauce. So let's fire these bad boys into the oven. That's what they look like in their frozen state. And when you see them again, they're going to be cooked. So let's just put them in there for now. Catch you guys soon. Okay, and we're back. I flipped them uh, from the last time I talked to you, so they've been in there for a good. Uh, I buried the times a little bit because they weren't done when I first checked. I'd say it's been roughly about 19 minutes total time. So this adjusts that. I think the box adjusts it. Uh, 15 to 17 minutes, but I don't know, maybe. I left them out too long, I don't know, it's just, I like them a little bit, I don't like them that they just take them and they just bend down like this, and I want them a little bit that I can hold them. And what I suggest too, before you even open your, your oven or stove, put on a, if you don't have one of these, just, which is a knob and glove, just even simply take, you don't want to burn your hands, so even take like a tea towel you must have laying around your house, just take one of these suckers, Take and fold it up like that. Open up your oven. I'll just show you how it won't get burnt. And just make sure you're fully grabbing. So you got like, I don't even feel the heat even coming through yet. But if you don't have an oven glove, a tea towel will work just fine. It's very good. See, there's not a burn to my hand at all. It's the oven glove is pretty hot though. That's just a little tip there if you don't have one of these. It's Okay, so we're going to take these. I think they look like they're done. I don't like how the breading's been cracking on there. Like They're not your most expensive. These aren't like super good tenders just by the looks of them, but they probably don't taste too bad. So let's throw one on the plate there. Always when using the knife, make sure you keep it away from yourself. I'm just going to cut this up. Let's see how this is. I don't tip we eat them like this, but see I think what it is, it's not like it it maybe it could have been a chicken breast, but they ground this up just by the way it looks. I'll even show you I'll break you one apart. Like the batter already fell off in that one. See when you break it apart, it just rips apart like layers. If this was, even though this could be real chicken, it doesn't have that where it rips apart like strips. So they like they took this, they ground it all down. But let's just see how it tastes. We're gonna try it with some KFC plum sauce here. Had some extras from when I went to see the colonel there before. So we got plum, some honey mustard. So, a 
and ripped. Oh. Mm. Honey mustard is just like the best. Let's try, we'll try a couple pieces where I haven't ripped it apart. So. That's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, I got some sauce in my finger there. But for like, what I think I said, 31 cents each, like, pretty reasonable meal. Let's see how they taste. And that's with plum sauce. It's got a nice sweetness to it with that plum sauce. Almost like a sweet and sour sort of taste, but not really, but it's got a nice sweetness to it. I'm just spitting out chicken here. Okay, we're going in for the honey mustard. It's got a nice glaze on but look how the batter's coming off this. But then again, that's only $13.97, so. Mmm, the honey mustard still got it. Like a nice savory sort of taste to it, a little bit of sweetness. You guys should just use the honey mushroom. That's what the chicken looks like inside. Like, does that even look like actual chicken? But oh, it says it's uh, cutlets. I think cutlets actually got some other type of something out of it because it doesn't say chicken. It says chicken breast cutlets. Perfectly seasoned white meat. Well, I don't think it comes off as a cutlet off the animal. So it's not actual 100% chicken. What's the chicken ratio that you see? Let's see. You start reading the back and it says, this is the propaganda they got on the back. Tender, fully cooked chicken strips made with white chicken breast meat and a crispy mouth-watering bready. Family bready. <laughs> Family friendly. They're perfect for dipping and dunking. Well, it's kind of the same thing, dipping and dunking. Well, and then look, they show it. Looks like it's actual ripped-up chicken. But when I show you that. Does that look the same as that? I guess a little bit, but they try to they try to falsify. Look at this; looks like actual ripped up breast, but it's not. Well, I kind of give it about a half a thumbs up. Eat them hot. I don't know how they taste when they're cold, but they taste okay when they're warm. So that's the president's choice pub pub breast beef chicken strips. So you want to be a lot of money? Go spend on some. Chicken restaurant, 14 bucks gets you 45 strips. That's only 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 15 strips there. There's no way you're getting that cheap at any place uptown. So, you like this video? Why not give it a thumbs up? Until next time, this has been Triple Chip. Vlog is over. Catch you next time. Happy eating.